Let's face it, movies and snacks are a match made in heaven. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie theater snacks. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. For this list, we're counting down our favorite snacks to pick up before sitting down in the seats at our favorite local theater. Get your own, though. We ain't sharing. Well, who's gonna turn down a junior mint? <laughs> It's chocolate, it's peppermint. It's delicious. <laughs> That's true. It's very refreshing. Number 10, Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces. Well, imagine your surprise when you realize, well, some difference. Reese's Peanut Butter Flavors inside. The classic Reese's Peanut Butter Cup is a hard act to beat, but these delicious candy-coated candies can get it done. Introduced in 1977 by Hershey, the snack was actually originally marketed as PBs before being rebranded with the much catchier moniker we know today. Amazingly, despite being a tasty mix of peanut butter and a crispy candy shell, the snack had trouble maintaining sales until getting a major boost following their appearance in E.T. the Extraterrestrial. It just proves the old adage that sometimes something doesn't seem appetizing until you see it used to lure a lovable alien out of the woods. Giant pieces, pieces, centerpieces, mantle pieces, 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 pieces. Number nine, gummy bears. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy, tummy, funny, lucky gummy bear. Nobody's quite sure why fruit-flavored gummy candy seems best delivered in tiny bear form. My bear and I like doing cartwheels and backflips and stuff. And then I'm going to fly it into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's our primal desire to bring one of the most powerful land predators down with ease. But whatever the reason, we just can't get enough of these multicolored confections. Conceived in Germany and inspired by the trained bears often seen at festivals and fairs, the ursine edibles have become a staple of candy aisles everywhere. Appearing under a variety of brands and even becoming pop culture icons thanks to a Disney animated series and an earworm of a song that took a generation by storm. Sing out in chorus, marching along as their song fills the air. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. Number eight, Raisinets. Do you like Raisinets? Take them or leave them. At the movies, Wallowitz always eats raisinets. The historical origins of these chocolate-coated raisins are shrouded in mystery, not unlike an edible Stonehenge. When it comes to taking something only marginally appetizing like the humble raisin, a chocolate coating does wonders to turn something healthy and also boring into pure junk food magic. Variations on the snack appear all over the world, like Schokokugeln in Germany, and they may even date back as early as some Mesoamerican cultures. Wherever they come from, they've become a go-to snack for moviegoers, frequently mixed with other popular snacks to form new and exciting junk food combinations. <laughs> Sounds good. Tastes even better. Number seven, nachos and cheese. Introducing new Nacho Supreme Why? with beef and beans, cheese sauce, tomato, tortilla chips, and jalapeno. Picture it. Yetras Negras, Mexico, 1943. A group of women crash a restaurant just before closing, leaving the maitre d' to furnish a meal for them of whatever was left in the kitchen. Known to history as either Ignacio or Nacho, this hero creates what would become one of the primary dietary items of drunk college kids, lazy cooks, and yes, moviegoers. And maybe you're missing the tanginess of our nacho sauce made with real cheddar cheese and the spiciness of jalapenos on the side. Then come on in for a side order of Taco Bell's new nachos and get every last bit of the taste and crunch you deserve. Combining traditional Mexican tortilla chips with melted cheese and a variety of toppings, the dish has become a favorite at concession stands, even if that topping can't legally be called cheese. Nacho! Number six, hot dogs. Look, 
I know I'm not witty like that critic guy, but does he know all the words to the Oscar Mayer song? Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. That, that is, is what, what I truly like, like to be. Cause if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, everyone would be in love with me. heyday, Coney Island was a place of fabulous lights and sounds, incredible attractions and sights, and some of the finest and most life-threatening theme park rides ever to exist. It also gave the world the humble hot dog, possibly. This is your brand image, Mr. Leach. We polled your primary demographic. You know what 89% said? Boring. Safe. We need to drop a bomb. You don't want hot dogs. Safe. What's in a hot dog? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> yes, a cylindrical serving of processed mystery meat, the hot dog is an excellent vehicle for ketchup or mustard, destined for happiness. Frankfurters and similar foods can trace their origins to Germany and Austria, but its introduction at Coney Island solidified it as a food for the masses, suitable for consumption on the street, on the go, and at the movies. What is it? It's a hot dog. It's a hot dog! It's a hot dog! It's a hot dog! Dr. Diggity, it's a hot dog. Number five, Twizzlers. I just have two small requests. One, put Twizzlers on the candy table, and two, cancel the party. Manufactured by one of the oldest candy companies in the United States, Hershey, this peelable snack began as a basic licorice snack before the strawberry variation quickly outstripped the others in terms of popularity, with the now ubiquitous moniker first being used to market the candy in 1929. They're so chewy, and their fruity flavor mm -hmm. is so juicy. Today, they contain little in the way of actual licorice, but that doesn't stop them from being found just about everywhere candy is sold. <laughs> you can't be serious with Twizzlers. When it comes to movie theater snacks, these chewy treats are in a league of their own. Just be sure you have the teeth and chewing strength to stand up to them. Number four, M&Ms. So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know, I never met the guy. <laughs> Chocolate buttons coated in a layer of seemingly unmelting candy have been around for ages, but that lowercase m on these colorfully delicious goodies have made them a snacking icon. First introduced in 1941 following their invention by Forrest Mars Sr., M&Ms now come in a variety of flavors, incorporating whole peanuts, caramel, and even pretzel bites. Wake up, peanut! What? My candy shell! It was all a dream! Come on, we're gonna be late for the party! <laughs> Great day to be m and Their marketing has become a mainstay of television, particularly their holiday-themed ads, making them a true cultural force and a go-to snack for movie theater patrons. At 3 o'clock in the morning, looking for 1,000 brown M&Ms to fill a brandy glass, or Ozzy wouldn't go on stage that night. Just don't believe those old rumors about the green ones. Now, you don't need to worry about a thing. My stepmom brand makes me eat super healthy. You know, I can't stand in front of the microwave and no red M&Ms. Number three, pretzels. I turn to them and I go, oh, boy, these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> Is that how you're going to say it? No, no, I'm working on it. Do it like this. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> these pretzels are making me thirsty. Some sources claim this salty snack is the invention of an Italian monk somewhere around the year 610, and that he invented them as a reward for his students. Hello. Buy planters pretzels there. Jolly good. As such, the name is said to be Latin for little reward. By the time the food made it to Germany, often claimed to be their country of origin, they became known as pretzels. Hello. Our planters, the pretzel people, have asked me to apologize for the last commercial that I made for them uh, for their pretzels. I mean, I'm apologizing for the commercial and not for their pretzels, which are absolutely jolly good, aren't they? Yeah. This simple length of bread dough tied in a knot is most often seen with a coating of sea salt, but at the movies, you can expect an optional dose of sugar or even cinnamon. Hi, Mr. Snyder. I want to buy a pretzel, please. What kind would you like? What kind do you got? Number two, soda. Yes, and it's the choice of a new generation. 
when you're consuming loads of sweet and salty snacks, you need something to wash it down. While some prefer juice, lemonade, or water, it's hard to say no to a tall glass of your favorite soft drink. While sweet, refreshing, flavorful drinks have been around for a while, it wasn't until the late 1700s that the process of carbonation made fizzy drinks a reality. <laughs> With dozens, if not hundreds of varieties of pop on the market, these beverages can be found at eateries across the globe. And that includes the theater, where massively sized drinks have been ensuring mid-movie bathroom breaks since time immemorial. Hey, 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 All I want is a Pepsi. Well, who else is hungry? I should definitely have insisted on snacks when I was recording this script. Oh well, you won't catch me at a movie without M&Ms. I would also accept Raisinets. And you should probably know, I will eat whatever snack you have too, so be prepared to share. Especially if you get what we put at number one. Any guesses? Let's take a bite out of a few honorable mentions before we see if you're right. Can't get them off your mind. Smoother. Can't get them off your mind. New Milk Duds. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Popcorn. Popcorn. Could it be anything else? The iconic movie snack favored by theaters for its cheapness, ability to be made in large quantities with relative ease, and that enchanting aroma. There's no food more closely associated with the motion picture. I like movies. I'll buy the popcorn. Okay. Uh, movie. There we go. Yeah. Yeah! We don't know who first had the bright idea to use heat to cause corn to burst into fluffy bunches, but we do know that the popcorn machine came into being in the late 1800s. Some prefer the simple, classic butter topping, others favor caramel or other flavored add-ons, but any way you pop it and any way you top it, it's the undisputed king of the movie theater. Okay! Woo! Floor popcorn! <laughs> do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.